subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and in this video i am going to show you how you can have j date field on your eclipse project so let's start the video so in order to have j date field j calendar or anything you need to have the jar file so you're going to go to the video description and there will be a link once you click on the link this website will open up and it will have only one file that is jcalendar 1.4 jar so you need to have a jar file if you want to have j date field input on your eclipse project so you're going to download this jar file save open folder so i'm just going to paste it on my desktop here it is you can see jcalendar 1.4 if i double tap on it you can see it is showing me a demo of the different things like the date format calendar and all the other thing so now we are going to copy and implement it on our eclipse project so first of all open your eclipse id so once open you are going to choose the project in whichever you need to have the date fields so I need to have the JDate field on the project name database practice GUI. So I'm going to click on once and on the upper side here it says project and on the last option it says properties press on it. Now on resource you will find the project location that is D Eclipse workspace database practice GUI. So you're going to open this location on your PC D eclipse workspace and now here it is the project that i want to insert the j date field database practice gui again i saw the address from here so now what you are going to do is you are going to copy the j calendar jar file from the desktop and you will paste it on your project so i'm just going to paste it here you can see j calendar 1.4 refresh now again on eclipse make sure that your project is selected you're going to go to project properties and now on the fourth option where it says java build path you're going to press on it and make sure that it is on libraries mostly it is on source so make sure you press on libraries and you will have jre system library maybe you don't have the extent these jars because i have added for the database but anyways on the right side here it says add external jars so now again you are going to browse wherever you have copied your jcalendar 1.4 in my case it was on old cd eclipse workspace and the project name that is database practice gui here you can see the jcalendar 1.4 jar file that we just copied press on open and press on apply and now apply and close so now if you want to see the whether the library or the jar has been important or not you will have this folder name reference libraries you're going to press on it and it will show you the file and here it is jcalendar 1.4 dot jar file so it means we have uh, successfully imported it we are just going to refresh it once so now on your designer you need to import the jar for the in designer as well so we're going to right click on the empty space where it says import jar and now on the folder you're going to select file system again you're going to browse wherever you have just copied your jcalendar 1.4 files press on ok ignore manifest you're going to choose date j date chooser or whichever you want i'm just going to choose also that i have all the different things of j calendar and now here it says category um you can put it in any of the categories so i'm going to press on new category and i'm going to just put it in the category of components press on okay so now if i open the components folder you can see it will show you the uh, different j calendar options that is j date chooser j month chooser j local chooser j calendar and the one which we are interested in is j date chooser so if i press and put it here and let me just expand it and now just let me just run the project 
so over here you can see if I press on it it will show me the calendar so that I can choose the date and in this way I can have a date input on my Eclipse project this process was same for NetBeans as well so if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so